Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be filling in my ink journal, updating my fountain pen ink history, and adding some swatches of newly acquired ink bottles that I got during this summer. So let's get right into it. Holding all of my sailor pens right now is this Galen Leather 6 pen case. Next is my ink swatch journal holding my card file inserts. I have two card file inserts in here right now. The first one holding a rainbow of ink swatches and the second holding all of my brown ink samples. <laughs> For my main ink journal, I use a blank A5 MD cream notebook. And for the cover, I have here a Bamkuhin mocha cover. And I do have a clear cover as well on the Midori, just because with ink, you never know what's gonna happen. So actually, when I am working in this ink journal, I remove the Bamkuhin cover just to keep it safe, because I have had some close calls before with some spills while doing ink sampling and swatching and things like that. But I decorated my MD notebook. It has a very textured tape on the spine that MD uses, so I covered that up with a coffee-themed washi just to round out the theme with the mocha cover. Since the paper is blank, I went ahead and printed a grid pattern on printer paper and I fit that into the sleeve of the notebook when I'm not using it to make sure that I have it close by, but I'll slip the grid paper underneath the blank page so that I can write straight when I'm doing my ink history and filling in the index. This journal is pretty much still in the works. It's not fully set up. I did just pencil everything in in terms of where I wanted everything to start, so I have things penciled in like fountain pen cover, ink journal cover, but I haven't actually gotten to it yet, eventually. Here is my index. I did a lot, a few pages for it, but man, when I started this ink journal, I must have thought I wasn't gonna be acquiring pens this fast because I'm quickly filling up the section that I dedicated towards my pens and ink history. I like to dedicate a full page to each pen and I like to do it in the order of when I acquired my pens. Under each pen I write down the ink and that way throughout the history of the pen I can see what ink was in it at one point and maybe how the ink came out of that nib. My very first fountain pen was a Twisby Diamond 580 in white with rose gold trim in extra fine. It was such a beautiful pen, but I eventually de-stashed it when I realized that my preference leaned towards finer nibs, so Japanese nibs versus Western nibs. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put here since I wanna keep the pens that I acquire in order. Maybe I'll use this page for extra notes or just scribbling. The next page is dedicated towards my Sailor Megetsu. This was the first Sailor that I ever purchased and I purchased it from Amazon. I do have some ink history here given that it was my first one and you can see how often I've tried changing the ink. Unfortunately, on my flight from Italy to California, the pen did crack. It cracked on the grip section. I think the section was a little too tight and so when I went on the plane, the cabin pressure popped it. I'm not really sure what happened. It didn't happen to any of my other pens, but on my way home back to Italy, I made sure that I loosened every single section of all of my pens at least two turns and nothing happened to my pens. I do keep it inked up still. I haven't had any problems with any leaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep using it I am on the lookout for anyone selling parts of pens, so the grip section doesn't have to be the same color. Maybe I'll have a Frankenstein pen of my own. Anyways, the ink in this Sailor pen is Sailor Yarameku Kangyu. It is a beautiful gray blue. It has a little bit of purple. There is some sheening to it, but it's really hard to see with the fineness of this medium fine. I have a Moon Man or Majon Capless Black. It is the Highlight Vanishing Point dupe, as people say, but that one is currently clean, so nothing to update there. 
the next one here is for the Platinum Century 3776 celluloid in the color calico and it is a beautiful beige brown and white i have it with a fine nib when i left for the summer it was inked with linen tool bars sesame oil it still is kind of but i was running low on it i was also trying to empty out a sample vial of don quixote by wearing gold and I didn't want to throw out the little bit of sesame oil left so what I did was actually just add Don Quixote to the cartridge and kind of mix the two colors so that's what I'm going to update here. It turned out to be a really nice shade of brown pink, I'm not really sure how to describe it but it's really nice and it kind of goes with the theme of what I've been inking my calico with. My next page is for my Pilot Custom 823 in the color Amber, but that pen is empty and clean, so let's go to the next one. Next pen is my absolute favorite pen of all time, Sailor Pro Gear Cafe Crema. It is a German exclusive Sailor, and this is just my aesthetic, my personality, all in one pen brown cream and coffee bean finial i don't know if a more perfect pen could be made for me and i'm so so grateful and happy to have this in my collection i currently have it inked with diamine earl gray and i know how could i not have a brown in this pen but i had wearing gold cowardly lion for months in this pen and I just really wanted a change in July. I was really feeling the gray blues and this Earl Gray just gave me that pencil color vibe and I'm super happy with it. The next pen is a Sailor Pen Boutique Collaborative Exclusive and it is a 1911 large Kagero. It is currently inked with just a simple black ink. It is an extra fine nib and I found it really hard to find a color that I was satisfied with with the extra fine, but having inked it with black, I am falling in love with this pen again and just using it for everyday notes and for my catch-all inserts. Now we're at the part in my ink journal where I have the most updating and that is adding in my newly acquired pens from the summer. First one here is my Sailor and Wancher collaborative pen in a pro gear size with a bicolor medium nib. This was an impulse purchase but from a D stash and I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to try out a medium nib for a great price and I'm so happy I did. I think purchasing a turquoise colored pen opened up the floodgates to me getting color. But in this pen right now is Sailor Manu ink in the color Haha. Ha. The medium nib is really great for these lighter inks to show off their sheen. The next pen I'm adding is the Sailor Manu Nuts in a medium fine. This has got to be my favorite Pro Gear Slim pen. It has clear yellow finials, it has a beautiful olive body, and I think it's really hard to capture the shade of green a lot of the times. I think it has a gray green tone to it and I currently have the ink by Kyo no Oto, number four, Yamabuki Iro. I wanted to match the finial shade. Sailor actually designed this pen to match two inks that they had prior. So there is an ink color that matches the finials, but I wanted a muted color, something softer and more my style and i was very happy to find that there was an ink in the exact same name but in the shade and tone that i was looking for the last pen that i'm updating today is the pro gear slim seasonal festivals in kiku it is a true beautiful coral color on stock photos on shop websites it seems that the pen leans a little orange but when i saw the pen in person it really is the perfect coral shade in it i have not a coral ink but actually a green i really needed a green ink to use in my travel journal and it was the only clean sailor pen that i wanted to use so i filled it up with wearing goals mad hatter 
It's a beautiful green and it goes with a lot of my travel journal spreads but every single time I do honestly cringe a little bit at the pen ink not matching the pen body so I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this ink in this pen. So I got three new pens this summer. I also got three new inks two for two being sets that came together so my manionettes came with sailor shirakashi ink and my sailor kiku came with an ink called kin mogusei and the third ink i got is a diamine manila pen show exclusive ink called suman I decided for my ink swatches of my newly acquired ink bottles, I wanted to draw some images. For Manyo Nuts, I actually just copied the image on the front of the bottle. They are some leaves and acorn nuts. So just to copy that and then I'm going to paint using the ink. I did dilute the ink with water first just to get some variable shading and then later I will go with a dip pen to add some stronger, darker lines. I am so incredibly lucky to have this ink, the Zuman ink from the Manila Pen Show, and I got it from my friend whose parents were vacationing in Manila at the time. Rather chaotic, trying to see if her parents could get the ink back to the US and then for her to send to me, but I am so happy she did. It is a beautiful ink. Myself as a Filipino, I am just so proud to own and this ink to own an ink called suman for something to be inspired by something filipino i am already just so proud and this is a beautiful blue green ink a little bit of it spilled on my way back to italy and i was in awe of the color i mean yes it made a little bit of a mess i still have a lot of ink left in the bottle but i really saw all the properties that make up the ink there's quite a lot of blue surprisingly for an ink that's very green but i mean that's one of the components to make green is blue and it's very subtle in the dark tones of the ink but it really starts to show through once the ink is diluted so i did my best to draw a banana leaf and to draw the suman dessert for those of you who aren't Filipino, it is a sweet rice dessert that is wrapped and steamed in a banana leaf, hence the dark green color to resemble the banana leaf. The last ink I'm swatching is probably my favorite out of the three. I just love how it turned out. And this was probably what I was scared of the most in drawing, but I drew a chrysanthemum this is for the Sailor Seasonal Festival Kiku pen. Kiku actually means chrysanthemum and the ink included with the Sailor set was Kin Mokusei. It is a beautiful orange. It is very bright. I don't know if I can see myself writing with an ink this bright. I think I see myself using the ink more for drawing, like things like this but we'll see if the ink grows on me. I am starting to want to use brighter colors, so we'll see. I'm glad that it is in my collection. I absolutely love the pen, so I don't mind holding and sitting with the bottle for a little bit and see if I eventually want to match the ink to the pen body. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. If you have an ink journal yourself, do let me know in the comments down below what you like to include in your ink journal. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.